Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire in the Sermod. We are trying to do a World Congress series and not become sick mans of Europe. Okay, so today guys, we will be invading Spain and cleaning up our little rebel problem, which I did not realize was getting so hectic up here and it actually like destroyed most of my troops up here. Yeah, we're going to have to go deal with that because that's a little bit too many rebels. Also, what we're also going to do at the same time is we're also going to start building up some troops. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna make a five death stack. One, two, one, two, three, and then four, five. There we go. Twelve soldiers should be a good amount of army. And let's continue. Yes. So as we begin the game, of course, the game kind of has this weird market crash every single time. Which is weird because it always happens no matter any Victoria game you do. Every time you load up the game, it always has this weird market crash. Alright, we're going to go send half of our soldiers over here because it is taking us some inf some uh, uh, nutrition. And apparently people die a lot quicker in this game when it comes to troop count. So, we're going to make sure we kill off these guys. And we're going to siege probably this entire coast right here. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to go have these guys and go have them uh, siege back all this land. Because we definitely don't want... Basically, why, the reason why I'm so worried about this... I'm kind of... Yeah, I am kind of worried about this right now is because... If they were to siege all this stuff, people, Norway could potentially form. And I really don't want Norway to potentially form in this game. That would just be annoying. Okay? Like, it would basically set us back like a couple years, and I don't really want that to happen. So, we're going to be very, very diligent in trying to wipe them out as quickly as possible. And it looks like... It looks like Germany's doing whatever the Germanic people do. The beliefs must be respected... Let's go right here. You guys go group up over here. I want to score a little bit quicker now. Now I want to score a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could gain some militancy. I don't mind militancy. Okay, siege it up, siege it up, siege it up. Okay, go. Alright, then siege up this plan too. Let's see, siege it, siege it, siege it, siege it. Yeah, it's going, it's going faster than all those other rebel, rebels are going. Yeah, words coming out of my mouth very weirdly right now. Don't know why. Uh, let's see. Go right here. Get into Tangiers. Get onto the boat. Go right here. Get on here. And go. Try to go save. I probably can't save this province. But I could probably go save that province. So let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Now they're going to group up the soldiers. Ooh, this. I might not make it. I might not seriously make it. And. What? Wait, wait. Greece? You want me to influence you? Oh, oh okay. I mean, we haven't exactly been friends before, but okay, if you guys want to be friendly now, sure. Oh my goodness, and apparently they just got, apparently our good friends Netherlands just got owned by, uh, by, uh, Spain. Yeah, I expected that as soon as Spain was done with all their conquests over here, they'd probably use France, get militaristic access to France, and try to go fight over here. But I didn't expect them to destroy Netherlands, or to go directly after Netherlands. I thought they were going to go after us, to be honest. Apparently not, though. Apparently not. And let's see. Yep, as soon as I thought, they conquered everything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fight. Oh my god, so many death stacks. There are so many death stacks around here. Okay, it looks like there's a 4k too. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go, yes! Okay, there we go. Let's see, get these guys right here. Alright, let's see if I can... That's a lot of Norwegian patriots. Okay, good. There we go. Destroy them. Alright. Go send them right over here. And then the last little bit is you guys go right over here too. You guys go over there. Okay. I think we got the rebel situation underneath my control. And now I got a big gigantic Spanish army. Which is kind of annoying. But then again, if I use it correctly, they could actually unseed a lot of my land. So, you know what, Spain? If you guys want to be over here in my land, sure, be over here. But, at the same time, I don't want them over here, so, uh, <laughs> I just said I might want them over here, but at the same time, I don't want them over here. Let's see. You. You one ship. Make sure Spanish do not come into my bay. I do not want Spanish to be in my bay, and I have a new decision, which is sign a Geneva Convention? Of course. Yeah, I want to sign a Geneva Convention, because, like, since we don't usually have full maintenance on our armies, I don't think it's very wise for us to be, like, uh... You know, not using it. We might as well get prestige for not having full maintenance on our armies. That's what basically I'm saying. Okay, and let's see. We have a 30 death case stack here. And 
Uh, what should we do? I don't really want to fight all these guys. Wait. A GS stand? That's actually a good sized army. Hmm. I'm going to call you guys in. Yeah. You guys are my vassals. You guys should be in this war because you love us. And it seems like this, the British are losing some of their fights over here. That's not good. We just war might drag on. Let's see. Let's go send our army over here to go try to go fight some Spaniards. Let's see. A GS stand? Yes, you may have military access to my land, even though you should already have it. Let's see, we destroyed these guys over here. Alright, you guys, from this point, we're going to have you guys goop out and try to go conquer the rest of, of my land. Make sure you guys get some of these provinces. Okay, now, de-engage, and if you guys die, your sacrifice will be in vain. Or, I mean, not in vain. There we go. Those are the words that inspire people. Yeah, because I kind of need to conquer back all this stuff before it all becomes like, uh, you know... Not good land, I should say. It's the best way I could put it. Not good land. Suppress the German right. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't really have any like particular hatred towards them, but sure, why not? Okay, and it seems like we have a 26 death stack moving in. Uh, by the way, are you in this right now? Yes, you are. So are you. Why are you guys not... <sighs> Combine all you guys' army. I'm going to use it. Apparently, you guys aren't using it to a full amount of your abilities. Go right here. We'll group up all you guys and we're gonna go try to do a defense for my land. Hey. No. You don't get to say no. I can't control your armies. You're my vassal. Okay. I control. Oh, you are jerks. You guys are so afraid right now. Okay. Well, let's see. How much men do the uh, do they have left? 18. So this is probably most likely the most of their men. Plus that. It's probably this is probably the rest of their men. Um, we have, ah, man, we lost so much men. Alright, and the British seem to be unseaging land again. So maybe they'll finish up with all this stuff. They really should be getting onto this, uh, troop building stuff. Let's see. You guys go attack this army. We're gonna go start with the biggest army there. With my biggest army. There we go. And let's see, we destroyed him. Boom, boom. Go start, def let's go start destroying every single little army. Yeah, this is going to be a major conquest. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm going to lose a couple of troops. That's the only problem. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. No. No. Well, I did lose a lot of troops. But a Geostan, if they come in right, will have a bigger army than me. Which is good. Because I'm about to... Okay. All you guys, retreat. Yeah, I don't... Okay, so apparently, Spain, much tougher than I thought. They have a way tougher army than what I thought. Oh, empiricalism. Yes. Okay, let's get Empiricalism. But, at the same time, they're also being sieged up pretty badly by the British. So, like... I may be losing over here, but... At the same time, they also have, like, really tiny armies. So, my Ajiastan allies, I think, will be able to go clean them up. So, let's just watch Ajiastan go do this all for me. And, I'm gonna go hit, go kill Moldavia later. Like, if, in, if there's gonna be... The first vassal I'm going to kill, guys, in this game is gonna be Moldavia. Yeah. Because they just completely screwed me over by not giving me their troops. Yeah. Let's see. Let's just go watch a GS stand kill all these armies. Because I feel like as long as they do have a high enough militaristic tech, they should be able to do it. Also, let's see. I want to also change this view too. So let's just toggle, toggle view. Just toggle that. And let's see. Remove that focus. And I want to start actually encouraging capitalists in our country. Because since we have such a big country and we don't really need... Well, we don't really need people to, like, do stuff. We just need people to start building up our country. So, let's move them over here to Bulgaria and start trying to encourage capitalists as much as possible. So, encouraging capitalists could make us really powerful. And as you guys can see, they're already starting to siege back everything. Yes, good job, my friends. Also, I have, like, 9k still here. So, I can actually still do stuff. Let's go do that. And let's see. Spain is obviously doing whatever they need to to go siege back all my land. Yay, because if I win this war... They're going to siege basically back all my land, which is good. That's what I like. Let's see, can I kill Can I kill this army before it kills me? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's go back a little bit, retreat. Let's see. Yep, these guys are sieging back all my land, but they still got like two armies. This one right here is the most con disconcerting. While we're also talking about disconcerting armies, let's build another army. Alright, two, three, four, five. Alright. One, two, three, uh, then I want four, five, and one, two. There we go. So, we should have an army being built over here. 
So that's going to be nice. But I'm still worried about that army right there. All those armies right there are really starting to annoy me. But at the same time, the British are also conquering the rest of Spain, which is really nice. They haven't really conquered the islands yet, which is kind of also annoying. But eh, what are you going to do? We're, we're just trying to survive right now. Because <laughs> apparently... The Netherlands stink at defending their own land. I mean, they got destroyed when the Netherlands went over. And it looks like the Spanish are finishing off my good Wal Walchian allies. And, yeah, the 17k troops right there. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? As I'm going to take control of the D. I like the Geostan moving in and reconquering all my land, but I need him to destroy those armies. So I'm going to take command of their army. Let's see. And what we're going to go do is we're going to do a pincher move. Because we really need to destroy that 17k. So let's go see. I'm going to go move my suit soldiers right there. And I guess they can finish up. They can basically finish up sieging up that. There we go. Right here. Now that we got these guys. Let's see. This should be a massively overly powerful army. There we go. And still lost way more than I intended. Somebody's rebelling against me right now. I think it's the Swedish nationalist again. Uh, probably going to have to go clean that up. But at the same time, you know what? You guys, stop going over here. You guys go over there. I don't want you guys to die yet. Have Sweden just clean up everything. Okay? Seriously, that's the words I'm going to be using. Have Sweden clean up everything. And apparently I lost a lot of men in that, in that battle. I still killed them all. But let's go kill them all. Let's go kill these guys. Let's go get these guys and then they retreated. Yeah, apparently defending is probably the better stance in this game. And we are making lots of soldiers on the side. Yeah, I think we basically destroyed all their main troops. What did they... What? That was kind of a weird... Wait, did they just... I think they just openly attacked me with less men than I had. If I have less morale, so this is going to be interesting. Nope, they're going to lose. Wow. That was a great AI decision right there. I think I just won. Yep. There we go. Last Spanish army defeated. And with that, I'm going to give my troops back to... Uh, Aegea stand, and now we are officially safe back in the uh, main Ottoman Empire. And the British, holy shit, Britain, you have almost conquered everything. Uh, Spain has basically uh, almost lost. I mean, would they accept this peace offer? Nah, they still they still really want to fight this war. Causes Belay against my good vassal of Germain. Uh, I don't really care, I guess. I don't really want America to be mad at me just yet. I mean, America's still pretty good friends, usually. And mobilization, yay, minus five! And let's see, yeah. They're going to be, mostly, I hope Spain's going to be sieging back all this land over here. And we're just going to keep our men over here in the corner, just kind of out of sight, out of mind. Because right now, they're seriously helping us keep everything on the low. Okay, and let's see. This is sieging of all this land. I don't know why they would be doing that, especially since they have... They have literally two provinces left. Okay, a mainland spade. Oh my goodness. 88%. Oh my goodness. 88% and we're almost there. If they just siege up, just de-siege all this land, we basically have them. Oh my goodness. And it's barely a GSN still making armies. Wow. Oh my goodness, a GSN. I love you. You're like my new favorite vassal. Oh my goodness. Okay, Spain, you guys are ready to succeed? Yes, thank you. Okay, we ended that war a little bit quicker just because they gave up. It's nice when the enemy realizes that they are dealing with a more powerful foe than you. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to dissolve my alliance with the British. And I'm going to try to get an alliance with the North Germanic Federation. Because the next person we're going to be trying to conquering is the mighty uh, Russian Empire. So, let's try to do that first. Let me see, how's my war exhaustion? Really high. Probably guess that just because of all the stuff. And you guys can go back to uh, unseaging all land. Because apparently we didn't get these two places. And let's see, Dramatic Federation. Would you guys like an alliance? No? Oh no, you guys teamed up with... Wait, wait. Give it a second. Because most likely they were still counting... Uh, too many great alliances. What are you talking about? I just saw my alliance with the... Hmm? Is Denmark, is one of these people like Denmark or, oh, Denmark is a great, is a, in a great alliance. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's why they're saying there's just not enough room. Okay, so if they're going to be all mad at me for a little bit, that means I have to think of somebody else to conquer. Hmm. I was hoping, I was kind of hoping I could go after Russia next, but apparently because Denmark is a great power, I can't do that. So 
Let's see. The United Kingdom wants an alliance. Let's see. Is there anyone else I can get an alliance with very quickly? You guys probably not. America, maybe. Yes, America. So, but who would I go after then? Like, who would I need the Canadians and the USA to go after then? Hmm. You know, we could actually go and go conquer Mexico, if that's a consolation. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I hate that. Denmark, why'd you have to become a great power? That's so rude of you guys. Like, seriously, now that you guys are great power, it's gonna be very hard for me to, like, do stuff. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see, Japan, would you guys like a militaristic alliance? You guys would, but you guys need to be a little bit more powerful. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. So, I'm gonna get the UK back in, but I'm gonna get America in. First, get America. Get America in. There we go. Then get the UK. There we go. And let's see. Who should I go after next? Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. By the way, how much, when is Denmark gonna drop again? Let's see. Oh, the nearest one is like 84. How'd you guys get so much prestige? Oh, wait, the 49th. Oh, good, the 49th. Netherlands. Thank goodness you guys are going to be rising up for this. So, actually, maybe I should not have done that alliance, but apparently it's too late. Let's see. I'm going to also uh, release a nation right now, because I'm going to be doing a major conquest. Ooh, Cuba. Hmm. Could release Cuba. I mean, I'm really never going to use it. Or, uh, this one's actually better, because it's only one state. Alright. Let's see. Let's go after Mexico next. Because that's the only province, that's the only country I could see why we would need both America and... Alright, 21.8. I instantly... It's a good thing I did the decision to, like, release a nation, because that was about to be really bad. Uh, and I think I'm going to flee the Philippines, too. Because I honestly don't care about the Philippines, and they could honestly have much better time building themselves up then with my help. So let's just have them do that. Also, let's also increase our administration tech because we have, or administration powers because we already have enough of that. And let's see. Wartenberg wants to, wants stuff. I don't really care. And let's see. At war with Denmark. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, as soon as I'm done with my war in Mexico, then I'll go to war, get my alliance with the uh, North Dramatic Federation. Uh, no, I don't really want to lose prestige, especially not right now. Let's see, how crisis is going? Yeesh! That crisis is about to fire, but hopefully they won't, like, fire, So I really don't want to deal with that crisis. Population! Tens tensions dissipate! Yay! So, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, we're gonna go declare war on Mexico. We're also, at this point, we could probably examine the strength of America. Okay. A total crisis probably brought about by the Denmark... What? Wait, Denmark, you guys want to bring about a political crisis that could potentially damage you because, uh, why? That, that kind of seems like a stupid move on your part. But apparently now Denmark is leading the crises against me. I should already have a good alliance with these guys. Support from the North Germanic Federation. Uh, France, maybe not. And Ger Russia, maybe not. Okay, let's see. I already have a way more powerful alliance with them, so maybe I can already propose peace? No. Don't have big enough yet. By the way, we better start building up a bigger army because I have a feeling that there might, if this crisis actually does fire, we could be at war with Russia. And I really don't like the idea of that. So let's start building up an army. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, now since I have Spain, uh, it becomes much difficult to uh, group up armies because I could potentially click on this state over here and start making troops over there. So I'm doing it this way so that we could easily, like, 9, 10, was that 10? Let's see, was that 10? Yes. Yeah, so that we can make sure they all group up where I want them to do. Where, where, they, yeah, where they will all group up where I want them to be. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't supposed to be that one. That was supposed to be this. Yeah, I'm counting in my head, people. See how many we need. Okay, there we go. And then we, now we need to get the horsemen. Let's see. And then over here, we need some horsemen. Let's go right here. Let's go right there. And there we go. We have our 10, our 10 to 10. Our 10 to 10 army. And let's see. We have... Oh, boy, we go. This is, this is really cool. I really do like this. I really do. I don't know why. I always like owning Cuba. Just for like... I don't know why. Maybe it's just an American thing, but I really like owning Cuba. It's a really, like, cool country to own. And let's see. The limited unemployed and... Or maybe low subsidies. 
we might give them a little subsidies, but we still don't give them no voting. Because I, cause I ain't like that. Alright, people. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a great episode for today. And I'll see you guys next time.